May the Lord bless and keep you as we progress into this new year. Welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. And it's fish day today. Over the last six months, I have managed to lose 10 kg using the elimination diet. Some people call it the carnivore diet. And it has worked quite well for me, even though I think it has been quite slow. And I have been at least, if I may say, 95% carnivore. And the goal is to remain on this path of the carnivore elimination diet. And what I'm hoping to do now is um, include fish into my diet for the sake of omega-3. Um, I have tried salmon, but I'm not a fan. I would find a way to prepare the salmon, cook it where I could eat it. I am hoping to introduce this into my diet at least three times a week. It's better than having the, um, the vitamins, which I believe by the time it reaches your hand, has already gone rancid anyway. So this is sea bass. I'm prepping this outdoors. Um, my goal was to cook it on the rocket stove. But I'm just going to use my camp stove for now. It's quite windy outdoors. And I just want to get this done quickly and get back inside. So just join me and just watch the process really. But let's go back to talking about the weight loss and carnivore diet. So the goal for me is to lose at least 20 more kg. My original starting weight was 91 kg and so far I'm at 81. I'm only five feet tall. It might not look like I'm fat, but for a short person like me, I do feel the weight on me and, and I'm not getting any younger. So I do have to look after myself. I found out about carnivore diet online and you, I'm sure if you type it on YouTube, you will find a lot of information. Dr. Berry is one of um, the most popular people. And once you find Dr. Berry, you will find a lot of, a lot of other carnivore doctors. I actually just follow the doctors because I, I think they have a reason for going the other way <laughs> rather than the way they had been trained. As you know, most doctors are not trained in nutrition. But I'm glad that some doctors have embraced this type of way of life it's not the one and only way of life to lose weight, but it does help for some people. And for me, it has been helping me so far. What I intend to do in the long run as I progress on my journey on YouTube is show you the before and after pictures. For now, I'm just going to focus on eating well. I would share some of my, um, my, my recipes with you. And yes, I would talk about some of my results. Now, one strange thing I've noticed about being on the carnival diet um, is not being able to bear the smell of bread. Anytime I go to the supermarket and, and, and I'm around the bread section, the smell of bread now, especially now, makes me feel like I need to throw up. It is just so disgusting. And that's strange because I usually like the smell of bread. Never had a problem with the smell of bread. They say if you want to sell your house, just bake and the house smells lovely and the loveliness is what hopefully will make whoever comes to visit the house put in an offer to buy but for some reason now I just can't bear the smell so if anyone knows what this is about please be nice to share thank you <laughs> another problem I've had is slow weight loss and it might not be slow for some other people but for me I feel losing 10 kg over six months is a bit too slow but I know I have to be patient. And the other last problem I'll mention in this video that I had was lack of textures. Um, a carnivore diet, you don't have a lot of options of textures. So I thought, okay, I'm not doing too bad with my weight loss, even though I'm a bit disappointed, I've only lost about 10 kg. I thought, all right, I'm going to add nuts. And I chose macadamia nuts just because it has a higher fat and content in it and to my surprise that didn't work quite well with me I developed a rash and my throats were itching me so I had to stop thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and support my tiny tiny channel thank you for stopping by have a lovely day bye